all you YouTubers all over the world, and welcome back to Power Director Made Simple. Today's video is going to be all about creating your own custom slideshow the old fashioned way, without the benefit of any pre designed template or built in background music. You are looking at Power Director 365. To create your slideshow, it is best to first assemble all the photos in one folder. You may wish to rename them so that they can be sorted by whatever method you choose, such as a file name. Once you have all your images ready, you can load them into the media library. I'll click on Import a Media Folder. The number on the folder indicates the number of images inside of that folder. In my media library, I'll open that folder. There you can see various photos, some in the landscape profile and some in the portrait profile. We'll see just how much of a difference that might make having both profiles in the same slideshow when we are done. In this folder, there are 44 JPEG photos and one video clip. I have numbered them ahead of time so that they are in the order that I want them to appear in my slideshow. I'm going to hit Control A to select everything and then exclude the folder in the video clip and drag the other 44 photos down to track 1. Notice the total duration is about 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Each image is given a duration of 5 seconds because that is the default time as set in my preferences. I'll click on the gear icon in the upper right to view my user preferences. I'll click editing on the left side and there at the bottom are my default durations. Notice that image files have a default duration of 5 seconds. I'll cancel out of preferences. Now if I wanted to change the duration on every image on track 1 to just 3 seconds, I'll select all of the image images and then right click on any image and select set duration. In the small window for duration settings, I'll change the 5 to a 3 and click OK. Now the total duration is about 2 minutes and 12 seconds. I'll hit play just to see what this looks like. Now so far there are no transition effects between each image, nor are, is there any background music. There is nothing but a cold cut from one to the next. I'm going to change all of that. I'll click on Transitions at the top, then Transitions on the side, and then Slideshow. Now you can click on any one to see its effect in the preview window. I'm going to select Squeezed, and then I'm going to drag it down to a spot in between any two images. If I zoom in on the timeline and hover the mouse on the transition, you can see that it is two seconds long. Let's watch that one effect in action on these two photos. Next, I'll click on the transition to select it and then click on Modify just above the timeline to bring up the Transition Settings window. Notice that a crossfade behavior was automatically selected because of my default setting for that transition. Once again, let's see that in my own user preferences. At the top, it shows crossfade as a default, and at the bottom, it shows two seconds as the duration. I'll cancel out of the user preferences. Now back on the transition settings window, I'll change to an overlap behavior and a duration of one second. I'll then click on apply to all, which means 
I shouldn't have to repeat this on each and every photo. Once I close the transition settings window, the overlap behavior with a duration of one second has been applied to all of the images. I'm now going to add a title at the beginning. By clicking on titles at the top, then general, and I feel real fancy today, so I'm going to select Brush 01. I'm going to drag it down to the very beginning of Track 1 and select Insert and Move All Clips. Once there, I'll select it and I'm going to hit F2 for some editing of the text. I'll type in Fort Sill, Oklahoma in the first text box and Army Infantry Training in the second box. I'll then click on OK at the bottom. All right, let's see what we have. I'll hit play. Okay, now let's add some background music to an audio track. I'll click on Media, then Background Music. And let's check Cyberlink's music to see if anything might sound patriotic. I don't see anything interesting in acoustic, nothing in atmosphere, but battle in cinematic might be appropriate. I'll review it. All right, this sounds appropriate, so I'll drag it down to track two. But notice the music is just over 1 minute and 50 seconds in duration, while the slideshow is about 2 minutes and 10 seconds. I'll make some adjustments. I'll zoom in somewhat just to be a little bit more precise. I'll first get rid of those few seconds on the, of silence on the end of the music. With only the audio track selected, I'll right click and select split. Now with that small portion of audio selected, I'll hit delete. I'm going to lower the entire volume slightly by grabbing the volume line and dragging it downward. And now for some power director magic. First, I'm going to move the playhead to the beginning. Then I'll select the audio clip and I'm going to click on edit and then smart fit for duration. I'll select fit audio to the end of the project and then click OK. Now the audio track matches the video track in duration. But notice so far all I have are just photos with background music. I know you are all dying to ask me, can I put a video clip in my slideshow? Well the answer is yes. Back in my media library is one such video clip. I'll click on media, my media, and there at the very end is one mp4 file which I'll drag down to the end of track one. Notice that it has its own audio. My slideshow is now done and ready to be exported so that I can create a video of the entire thing. And I did this without the benefit of any template or help by using the slideshow creator or the theme designer tools. Did you also notice that everything that was done in today's video was really nothing new? These were all procedures that were shown in previous videos. It's just a matter of putting everything together and being a little creative. 
I hope this helps some of you to start showing off your collection of photographs. Create your own YouTube channel and share them with the world. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Now coming up right now is the slideshow that we just created. Go, go!